So I'm here with Dan McGann, the Oracle Developer Advocate for JavaScript, and I just sat in on your talk about JavaScript and Oracle and building apps with JavaScript and Oracle, and uh, it was really interesting. Mind blown. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. And um, you know, I know that development's done a lot of work on the Node. Node.js driver. Did I say that right? I know it's 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 a Oracle taboo. Oracle database Node.js driver. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I know it's taboo not to say it the right way on on certain in certain ele crowds. Yes. Right. Yeah. Well, it's uh, they've done a really great job with it. It's still in early release. I think they just released the 0 0.3, uh, but it's highly performant. They wrote it in C, and a lot of people are having some real success with it. Excellent. Now um, you were you walked us through a whole like very you know simple model, but actually it exercised a bunch of different pieces, whether it be you know, Angular JS or it be the NPM uh, package manager on the back end. Right. Um, a lot of moving pieces. A lot of moving pieces in your demo. Um, what would you say is um, you know for people that are say getting trying to use Oracle with it, what would be the key pieces to, to remember or, or use? Uh, well, for the demo today, I would definitely say the Oracle Database Node.js driver is a great place to start. When you get it up and running, uh, there's some sample code that comes along with it, so you can easily go to that code and just take a look at how it works and learn from that. Uh, there's also uh, my blog, which is jsao.io, and on there you'll find a video on how to get up and running with Oracle Database and the new driver using a virtual machine. So you don't have to have a lot of expertise in installing databases. You can just go there and within 20 minutes minus the download times, you'll be up and running and ready to go. Excellent. Now, I know that they're still working on it, um, Node.js driver, obviously they're, they're building in more and more features into it. Um, this is the first... Uh, are we calling it GA version now? I don't know what they're uh, Okay, not sure yet, okay, but uh, it is out there and they can play around with it already. Absolutely. And development is still plunging ahead, working on it Correct. to get more more and more features uh, from available from the database, exactly. yes? Yep. So uh, there was one uh, database feature that you were going to go out there and uh, write a whole bunch of JavaScript and then you realized oh, there yeah. was an Oracle database feature. What yeah. was that again? So basically, the uh, ideas, uh, I saw it first in Meteor.js, uh, where they're doing something they call reactive or real-time data. Essentially, um, if someone makes a change to some data, all the clients that are seeing that data instantly see the change. And they use a technique called uh, op-log tailing to, to do this, which is uh, pretty complex. I thought I might go do the same, but I got really lucky and found that there was already a feature in Oracle that we could use for this feature. It's, uh, for this particular functionality, it's called the query result change notification, which allows you to register queries, and then Oracle, when it detects a change in the result set of that query, it'll execute some PLSQL on your behalf. And so I was able to leverage that, combine with Socket.io and Node.js to, to deliver this feature with a lot less work than I thought. Excellent. And speaking about a lot less work, you made the point that, hey, if somebody's an Apex developer, yeah. they can basically kiss goodbye that rapid application development. It's not yeah. going to have the same level yeah. of... So there are different approaches, yeah. right? Uh, Apex is great if you're working from the top down. Uh, the speed with which you can develop applications is really unmatched, I think. Um, but it is a black box, and occasionally you'll hit a snag with a black box, and it can be difficult to get past. Whereas with this approach, we're starting at lower levels, and so we're going with a ground-up approach that uh, allows us, you know, it's going to be slower in the beginning to get things done, but you don't really run into issues with black boxes. Uh, most of the code we work with is open source. If you hit a snag, you can get into it, figure it out, and move forward. Excellent. So. Um Congratulations again on joining Oracle in the JavaScript Developer Advocate and uh, looking forward to seeing more of those how-to and basic 101 of getting up and running with JavaScript and Oracle. Awesome. Looking forward to making